Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. And if you're new, hi, my name is Anna. And in today's video, I want to take you guys along to clean with me. I'm going to clean my whole house because I scheduled out today to clean my entire house. Um, just because I've been so busy and I wanted to do other things and just clean in one day. I'm going to bring you guys along, so I hope you guys enjoy. I am going to start upstairs, so right now I'm in my master bedroom. I'm also going to be cleaning out like my medicine cabinet and my fridge, just looking at expiration dates and stuff, and I feel like I'm going to be like disgusted. And so I like really didn't want to clean my house today, but I was like... Okay, I should just get on YouTube. It is like fun to, you know, feel like you've accomplished such a big task and it is like very satisfying. So even though I like cleaning, sometimes it's hard to find the motivation. So if you're in the same boat, hop on, put, put this video on the TV or on your phone and let's clean together. First things first, I need to put my hair up. If you're not in a cozy outfit, put one on. Um, I'm in a very cozy outfit, but guess what you guys? Let me get down here and talk to you guys. My phone is about to die and I need to record me cleaning the whole house. But it's at like 10% because I plugged it in and the charger wasn't plugged in. Dang it. And my bed, I'm like kind of sad about my bed because I had to take the white linen comforter into the dry cleaners. And so like the comforter and the shams don't match, but we're just gonna pretend that they do and just not worry about it. So I put my hair up and I'm gonna go clean the cat tower while my phone charges a little bit. I hadn't wet dusted in a while, so I decided to do that with my favorite multi-purpose cleaner. It's the Mr. Clean Lavender multi-purpose cleaner and I just love it. So I took a rag and just moistened it with the cleaner and then wiped it down. And I usually do this probably once every couple months because I feel like dry dusting dusts the top layer, but sometimes it's just good to get in there with a rag. And yes, that is a Picasso style painting that I did of my cat. And then I just moved on to my husband's side. If you're thinking about getting any hairy animal as a pet, then just this is your warning that there's always hair to clean. So I use a chom chom roller and it's the best way to get cat hair off of things like the couch and my comforter. And then I, of course, just vacuumed. So now I'm all done with the room with our bed in it. I chom chom rolled this and I will link that below because it is one of the best tools for cleaning, especially if you have pets. And then also that is my favorite vacuum because it will, it bends like hyper bends and goes under things. So I'll link that below as well because it's just absolutely amazing. It's so funny you guys, look at the little chairs I set out for them so that they can look out the window. I'm so extra. But yeah, I'm really excited to get our white comforter back for summer because that will look so much better in here. And now on to our sitting room. It's like crazy in here because these clothes I need to try on for summer because you know if you live anywhere in the Midwest or somewhere where it's cold and hot, like on the same day, it's so hard in that transitional period of what clothes you need to keep out and what you need to put away because like literally the other day I was wearing shorts and I could have worn a coat yesterday morning. So this is all just a work in progress. So I'm gonna leave this because my husband and I are actually going to try on every single item in our closet soon because we just feel like we need to purge and buy new clothes and just see what fits us, see what we don't like anymore. So this is kind of like a start of that whole thing. And then also my jewelry, I really need a jewelry box. like. I want a stand up one so I don't have to put it all on my dresser because on my dresser I have my perfumes and stuff. And so yeah, that's kind of like a work in progress too. So we're just gonna ignore that part and clean the rest. Thank you. 
This is why I want a jewelry box because there's just nothing better than having this clean, like just organized, put together dresser. I just feel like it's so much better than having all the jewelry up there. And then I like deep cleaned our closet because I moved like almost all of the furniture and vacuumed behind it, wet dusted the dressers, and of course vacuumed in there. And then I took off every single pair of shoes and vacuumed and dusted in the cubbies because those get kind of just dirty and dusty from, obviously there's no covered doors and so all the dust just collects in there underneath the shoes and if any of the shoes are dirty then that gets in there. So I just took every single pair out and dusted that. It felt so good afterward like because that's kind of a big job just to randomly do so I felt really good about that. And then it was time to move on to the first guest bedroom. The cats sometimes jump on this bed, so I just made the comforter look, you know, a little less wrinkly. And then I was just dry dusting, and then I figured I should, might as well wet dust since I had all the stuff out. So I did that, and then of course vacuumed everywhere. After I cleaned this bedroom, I had to make some shorts, and one was a bar cart short, so I had to clean up after that, make dinner, and so this is all I did for this day. It's a new day and I did not finish cleaning yesterday because I just got busy and today actually cleared up a little bit. So I still have some errands and stuff that I'm doing right now, but I got a large coffee so that we're very motivated to clean and we're gonna get the rest of the house done. I did do a couple things that um, I didn't put in the video like scooping the litter and you know making the bed again this morning and yesterday I like wiped off um, an end table in between some sitting room chairs downstairs and I cleaned the upstairs bathroom but I am going to show you guys most of the stuff downstairs I'm doing today and so yeah let's just keep on the cleaning motivation. I hope you guys are having a good day. This coffee is so good. If you guys ever have a chance to get a coconut lavender cold brew with lavender cold foam do it. Do it right now because this is so good. It's so summery, like springtime. Oh my gosh, it's raining. It's about to rain. That's also why I needed coffee because I was like, it is so dreary outside that I just want to sit on the couch in my pajamas. Like I don't want to get anything done, but I need to get stuff done. I think this is just, it's literally cold brew. I think they probably put coconut and lavender syrup in it. And then it's just lavender cold foam. So good, you guys definitely get it and let's just keep cleaning together. Hair is up again today. Coffee's almost finished. I just finished vacuuming the guest bedroom upstairs and then I did the second guest bedroom. That's not really like interesting to see I guess um so I'm not gonna put it in the video because there's a lot of vacuuming and I could only show so much vacuuming but yeah I just vacuumed a little bit and then now I'm finally moving downstairs so I just have to vacuum some more and <laughs> if I get to steaming upstairs, I'll do that because just last week I mopped like steam downstairs. And so if I can get to the, our bedroom, I'll do that. But I wanted to at least, you know, vacuum everywhere. And I put on a comfy, cozy hoodie because it is gloomy outside, you guys. What the heck? Like it's kind of cold in our house, actually. It's a weird temperature because it's like 68, but it's gonna rain. And so it feels like it's like, 55 ish i don't know it's a weird temperature and it's dark i need to get into cleaning mode all right you guys let's look at the expiration dates in my fridge i do this i don't know probably like once a year or if i'm just you know having a salad and i'm looking at my dressings and i find one that's expired i'll just throw it away so i don't think it'll be that bad but let's see <laughs> All right, tahini, 10 to 2023, that's good. 2023, May, May 15th, 2023. It's past that date, but that's fine. I mean, it's almost gone anyway. That I just bought, this I just bought, this I just bought too. Okay, so all this is good. It's more the stuff that I don't use a lot. Let's see, oh, November 2023. 24. This is March 2023 and it's like freaking full, but I just started um, using it more often. I feel like it's okay. It's only a couple months expired. It's not like a couple years or anything. 
724. Good with the fridge. That's crazy. Oh, you know what I did find the other day though that expired, that I didn't know expired, was this guachong. I have no idea if that's how you say it. I got it in purple carrot once and best before, like this one's eight of 2023, but this one is 2022 in July. So I'll probably, I'll throw that away and July of 2022 again. So I'm gonna throw those two away. Everything else I don't think expires. Like I don't really have anything else that, oh, yes I do. I'm forgetting about a whole cupboard. All right, let's move over here, like where my soy sauce is and stuff. 2023. Oh my gosh, I haven't used this stevia in forever. Oh, 12 of 2023. Hmm. I haven't used that in so long. Oh, the soup base is chicken bouillon or whatever it's called. There's no way this is good. Oh, November of 2019, that's going in the garbage. I kind of know what I've bought like recently. 2024, three, I think we're good. This is May 4th, 2022. It's balsamic vinegar. Does that go bad? I don't know. We're just gonna shut the cupboard and pretend that I didn't see that one. Usually all the dishes are done the night before um, after dinner, but last night I had to grab a fork out of the dishwasher and I pressed resume and it didn't resume. So then I had to run it again just because I didn't want dirty dishes, you know? And so I ran it again and then had to fill up the sink and now I'm just like unloading that and then have to run it again. Another thing I did last night was I actually moved this chest from the foyer into the sitting room so that I could put all my plants on it. So I watered those and then I went on to vacuum the downstairs area and I'm only showing you, you know, the sitting room and dining room because I don't wanna bore you with all the vacuuming there is because there's a lot. You guys, I was on the last room, which was my husband's office, and I realized that I hadn't dusted. I was like, what the heck? I vacuumed all this stuff and I didn't dust, but that's okay. I dusted last week and I will dust this upcoming week. Time to do the medicine drawer. Let's see what we have. Well, these are good, 2025. June of 2023, Mucinex. August of 2022. Now I need to look this up because this stuff is not cheap. And like, if it's really expired, does it not do anything? Because I have a lot of new snacks. I stacked up when it was COVID. Like this only has one tablet left. So see another thing of new snacks. Like this is insane. 10 of 25. So this one's definitely really good, but this is brand new and it's August of 2022. <laughs> Gas X. I don't think I've ever even used this. Oh, I've used one tablet. February of 21. So this is expired. That's that's done. I never even use it. August of 22. March of 2021. This is making me like sad. I didn't expect to feel this way. I just feel like it's like money down the drain. This icy hat, 2021. Full tube. You guys, if you're ever gonna buy any medication or something, buy the tiny ones because this is a full tube of Icy Hot and it's expired. It, it doesn't work, like I'm sure it works. And the thing about that stuff is you wanna have it because if you need it, you wanna have it, you don't have to run out and get it, but then it expires. This is six of 2019 and it says use before. So, okay. 7 of 2019. Why do we have so much Neosporin? At these allergy pills. 2018, you guys. There's a bunch in there too. I guess not keeping that. I went crazy for COVID. I was in the grocery store and I was boom, boom, boom. I got these random multivitamins that I haven't taken. July of 2021. Nice. Haven't even opened them. Another vitamin, September of 2021. Men's, September of 2021. That's bad. Oh my goodness. February of 2021. September of 2020. These were expired. June of 2021. Why do we buy such a giant bottle? This Tums thing is empty. Well, that's junk. These COVID tests. I know these expire. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, my medicine drawer is like empty now. Oh, here's some more melatonin. 2020, 2018. That is so much expired. Let me show you guys. All of this is expired. Wow. That cleaned up a lot of room in my cabinet. I mean, these tums are technically empty, not expired, but look at all that. I just got done cleaning the kitchen. The laundry is switched and a new load is going in the washer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do wanna see me deep cleaning the, my bathroom, I do have a video, I will link it right here. I just figured I already have a video, why show it again? So yeah, if you're interested in another cleaning video, make sure to watch that. Hopefully you found some cleaning motivation. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I post every Wednesday and Saturday all about lifestyle, beauty, and vlogs. So hit the bell for post notifications so you don't miss when I upload. And I'll see you in my next video, bye.